Welcome to Winter Vale, perhaps one of the best holiday events in World of Warcraft. This year, the event runs from December 16th until January 2nd. There are a lot of changes that are coming with this year's Winter Vale, so if you are here for the changes, stick around. If you are here just for the achievements, I will put an annotation and you can skip right to that. Much like Hallow's End of this year, the garrison will be able to be winterized with the brand new garrison decorations that you can purchase with merry supplies that are awarded from four daily quests also available in your garrison. There are five in total. The old box of decorations, which will add candy canes, mistletoes, and stockings to your garrison. Festive outfits, which will dress up your guards. Little Helpers, which will bring gnomes and a Winter Wondervolt right into your garrison, which is great if you're going after a certain achievement. Imported Trees will add, well, Christmas trees and presents into your garrison. And finally, a Ball of Tangled Lights, which will bring lights and wreaths into your garrison. But that's not all you can get with Merry Supplies this year. There is also a new toy. The Crashin' Thrashin' Killdozer is available for five Merry Supplies as well. And finally, you can get a Savage Gift, which can potentially have the new Grumpus mount in it. It shares a model with the Challenger Yeti and most of the Gronling mounts, but it still looks great. The Savage Gift can also contain Warlord's currency, such as Apexis or Garrison Resources, with a rare chance at the Elixir of the Rapid Mind, a Medallion of the Legion, and the Frozen Arms of the Champion. The daily quests are very important this year. There are only four quests, so it is only possible to get five Merry Supplies a day. But be sure to get the snow piles that are all over the daily quest area, as there is a chance to find the Grumpling Pet in one of these. It's a humanoid type pet and is a miniature version of the mount. In fact, I got it on the first snow that I checked, which is pretty cool. The presents under the tree this year that are located in Ironforge or Ogremar have also been updated thanks to Great Father Winter. The old lounge toys from years past are now only in the stolen present, which is rewarded from the daily Yoramin one. Uh, and it has the chance to contain a Merry Munchkin costume for your perky pet, a red wooden slide toy that allows you or your battle pet to be pulled around, and the new Crashin' Thrashin' Flamer toy. Perhaps just as exciting as the improved gift pack rewards. Fizzy Apple Cider will actually increase your gathering rate, so go do mines? I don't even know. Smoky Wood Bastards can also contain two new weapon enchant illusions, the Winter's Grasp and the Flames of Ragnaros. And of course, the Stolen Present can also have the Dagger Miniature Winter Veil Tree, which is an item level 670 dagger, which is a little bit low considering that time walking is at 675. As always with Winter Veil, vale, there is also a ton of seasonal goodies such as food recipes and tailoring supplies. Siegecrafter Blackfuse, much like years past, is feeling the holiday spirit, but that would mean going back to Siege of Ogremar to see it. That one is up to you, dear viewer. And finally, the big one, guys. We are here at Achievements! Feast of Winter Vale is one of the numerous holidays needed for the meta achievement. What a long, strange trip it's been, which gives you the Violet Proto Drake, which is a beautiful, beautiful mount. Winter Vale specifically has 11 core achievements, which will reward you with the Merrymaker title and achievement. Tis the Season requires you to wear three pieces of winter clothing and eat some Gratus mincemeat fruitcake. The hat you can get from Wrath of the Lich King select heroics like the Oculus, Kata normal and heroic dungeons, Siege of Ogremar bosses, and Warlords dungeon bosses. The chest can be crafted by a tailor with 250 skill or bought on the AH. Winter boots can be crafted by a leather worker with 285 skill. If you don't have anybody that can make those for you, just go to the AH and type in winter and you'll be able to find those pretty easily. The fruitcake is a reward from the seeing Great Father Winter, but you can also purchase it for fairly cheap as well. Next achievement is a Frosty Shake. Use your Winter Veil Disguise Kit, which you will receive from completing the Yoramine One daily, eventually. You don't get it right away. And then go to Dalaran, use it, and dance with another snowman while you are also a snowman. 
Then there is Bros Before Ho Ho Ho's, which has you using a mistletoe on various NPCs. For Horde, you must use one on Brother Malik in Undercity, Durkit Wolf Brother in Borean Tundra, and Brother Kelton, who is on the gunship in, Icy in Ice Crown. Alliance has it a little bit easier. Brother Kristoff, Crowley, Benjamin, Joshua, and Cassius are all in Stormwind around the Cathedral, and Brother Nemitz is in Northern Stranglethorn. Wilhelm is in Goldshire, and Carmen is in Theramore. Talk to Zadormi if you are phased in the new version of Theramore. Falalalala Ogrela is complete to the Bomb Them Again daily in Blades Edge Mountain while riding a reindeer gotten with fresh or preserved holly. You can get the fresh or preserved holly by kissing any winter reveler, which is usually found in inns throughout Azeroth and beyond. The Ogre Law themselves, that quest chain unlocks super quickly. It took me about five minutes to get to that quest chain. It's over in Blades Edge Mountain, super easy to get. He knows if you've been naughty. Open a present. You can't get that yet, but you will be able to get that on, I believe, December 25th. Let it snow. Use handful of snowflakes on various race and class combos. Good thing it's currently Battleground Week, huh? Because you can be able to do that super quickly. On Metzen, complete your Amin one daily. Seriously, there's so many your Amin one that you just have to complete and that's it. Scrooge is simple. All you have to do is hit Muradin or Bane with a snowball. That's it. A caroling we will go is use the gaudy winter sweater to carol in enemy cities. That's all you have to do. You can buy the gaudy sweater or you can get it from the stolen present as well. Simply Abominable is yet another your Amin one. Completion. That's literally all you have to do is complete the quest. Winter Vale Gourmet. Cook a gingerbread cookie, Winter Vale eggnog, and hot apple cider. That's all you have to do. And finally, the one that most druids are going to hate with an absolute passion. With a little helper from my friends. Get 50 honorable kills as a little helper. You can become a little helper by using the Wonder Volts. Hopefully this will be easy if you take advantage of the battleground event. Disguise, though, goes away on death or shapeshifting. Sorry, druids. But there are more achievements with this that are not necessary for the Merrymaker. The Iron Armada, which is collect those thrashing, crashing, thrashers, thrashing, brashings. That's all you have to do is collect is all of those. There's some rares in Tanam that have them, and then, of course, some with this event as well. There is the Danger Zone, which is use your Crash and Thrash and Flyer to shoot down another one, as well as the Crash and Thrashin, which is to gain 25 crashes with your Racer. And this can also be j purchased from Geppetto. Uh, both of those things, what I did is I started a custom group and I just said, hey guys, I'm going to be in the middle of wherever. Meet me here and let's use our toys together. And I got people to come and get their achievements and blah, blah, blah. BB King, which is to pelt opposing leaders with the Red Rider air rifle purchased from Geppetto Joy Buzz. That is worth doing too with the gaudy sweatshirt that you'll be using to carol in cities. I was able to do this on my paladin pretty easily solo. I did have to corpse drag a little bit as most of you will probably have to do as well. Uh, the leaders will get aggro once you shoot them and then that is pretty much the end of your life. And there you have it, guys. That should be everything you need to know to snowball haha, <laughs> your way through the Feast of Winter Vale. But if you guys have any questions whatsoever, use the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content and join me on social media. Links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Never surrender.